Okay, so we have the second second installation in the game design series using Cinema 4D, Photoshop, and Unity 3D. Um, what this what this tutorial is going to teach you how to use is to get more advanced in Cinema 4D and work on the um, work on using the primitives, splines and nerves as well as the special objects um, to create realistic looking objects so we're going to start out um, with a bullet so uh, let's let's make a new one here so we come into cinema 4d blank slate absolutely nothing we're going to create a primitive the cube to start out with move out a little bit more um, what you're going to do is use the hyper nerves um, and, and take the cube drag it under hyper nerves alright so everybody catch up to that point that's what it looks like alright so use use the cube and the hyper nerves using the cube and the hyper nerves what you want to do is make make hyper nerves editable wait undo that um, make the cube <coughs> make the cube editable you're gonna go into polygon mode here you probably want to make it a little bigger so use the enlargement tool make it a little bigger or oh let's not make it big any bigger instead let's move in on it a little bit select dot control and drag okay so we see it move from that 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 little thing here so let's review you start it's a very easy process start with a blank slate create a primitive cube go into here click hyper nerves Click the cube, drag it under hypernerves. Take the take the hypernerves the hypernerves enabled cube and make it editable. Now that you have all this, you're gonna use the polygon tool to uh, click period control and drag your mouse away from that one side. Oh you have to select it first, then dot control drag now that is going to change the whole look of this of this bullet of this whole thing so of course um, if you want to make it more high definition uh, make it make the subdivisions more like that oh way more more subdivision higher definition so I'm gonna put it at about three four subdivisions my computer is pretty high end. Um, if you render it now using this, it looks like a bullet, you know. Um, make it editable. Change this hyper nerves. Make it editable. Resize it. Oops. Control Z. Undo that. Resize the cube. <laughs> Edit. Select all. Resize got that edit select all and resize it all right um you're probably going to want to make it l make it a little longer make it look more like a bullet um so here we have our bullet our easy to recognize bullet now what you can do is look in the description and you'll find textures cinema 4D it's a little it's a little uh pa packet there that you want to get from Cinema 4D on the web page I give you. It's completely free, it's completely legal, everything. All you need to do is download it and open it, find some materials, um, and save it to your desktop for easy access. So file, uh, you're going to go down to the material editor, file, load materials.
Alright, so you're going to have to look inside the folder and you'll find these. This happens to be one of my uh, one of my most favorite out of all of them. Um, now if you're trying to create a, uh, a some kind of brass bullet, look through and find find something that looks a lot like a bullet. So I'm going to go into um, here we go. I'll use Avier Tapia Aquatics. Open his up. It opens up all of his materials. Now these are very useful materials. Um, what you're going to do is click it, drag it, drop it onto the cube in the object editor. Um, or you drop it under the hypernerves. It doesn't really matter. Render it at this point, and you'll notice it looks like more like a bullet. It has a more uh, steel look. You can also load a very nice one. Um, I like to call it. Where is it? Here we go. It's the brass, brass one. So if we look in here, we have brass or enox. Pick whichever one you want. Um, Enox is also very nice. Drop it under there. Delete the other one you have, which is the brush steel. Delete it by clicking this little box and deleting it. That's where it goes. So you have the Enox on there set up. Render it. That's what it looks like. Experiment with different kinds of textures as you're going to want one. Alright, so I'm going to delete this one and put one of my more favorite for a bullet is brass. Let's render that beautiful brass bullet. Alright, so I'm probably going to juice up this bullet a little bit. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use splines and uh, create a more interesting bullet and not just this. We're going to create a magical bullet that looks more like this.